What up bitches, welcome back to another trading video. You guys give me a lot of feedback and a lot of love for doing the last trading video. Uh, this one's going to be quite short and simple. Uh, basically, last time I told you to invest in like 85s and uh, Team of the Season cards that, uh, you know, were pretty high rated. I did say Allison. Allison was the one that I told you guys to get, and he is 50k at the moment. So 49 and a half, 49.75 is what he's going for at the moment. I knew that they would smash up. I had a feeling that they might put two team this season cards in there just to bump up the price. Uh, the SBC has now gone from being worth about 60 to 70k to about 100k to complete. And that's all because of these team of the season cards basically going up. And the reason they're going up, guys, is basically because they're not in packs. Um, the only team of the seasons that are in packs at the moment are the ultimate team of the seasons. And as you can imagine, because they're big boy players, not a lot of people are going to be packing them. So, um, like, when you consider it's people like Carl Walker, Naldo, Alba, Rodriguez, Koulibaly, Fakir, Stegen. Like, you look in, uh, maybe you can pack maybe five of them, um, realistically, in, in a couple of packs. Um, you're not going to be packing Ronaldo, Messi, Salah, Suarez, Dybala, Neymar, Lewandowski, De Gea, Aguero, De Bruyne, uh, Immobile, Cavani, like, Cruz. Like, these are all high-rated players anyway. Like, they're going to be difficult to pack uh, in most situations, but now that they're the team of the seasons, and they're the only team of the seasons that are in packs at the moment, people are not going to be packing them. It's near impossible. The only way you're going to be able to do them is these ultimate team of the season SBCs. So what do I think is going to happen? I think that they're going to go up even more in price. I think they're just going to get more expensive. Um, I think they'll be pushing towards maybe 70k on Tuesday. Um, so, again, if you have missed out on potentially picking up a few team of the seasons and you wanted to invest in them, like, for me, I'm I'm happy enough to, to stick with the two that I've got here or maybe even get rid of uh, some of the... Let me... Uh, like I've got loads of team of seasons on this account anyway. Like you know, I'm I'm happy to go with someone like Naldo, um, Allen as well. I don't really care about Guedes, Mir, Debuchy, Mir, Kimpembe, shit. Like do you get know I me? Mean? Like I've got loads of players that I'm I'm happy to go rid of anyway. Um, so I don't really need to invest. Um, as well as the 85s as well. I don't think they've actually gone up, but that doesn't mean that they won't go up. Um. I'm thinking, realistically, that, right, see, so the other day, the store went down, and um, a lot of people were like, well, they, they put the store down because uh, of pack weight, a lot of people were packing Pele, a lot of people were packing, like, really big cards in the World Cup mode. So, the theory was is that when the packs went down, they were changing the pack weight because people were packing too many good things. Now, I'm starting to think that the reason the, the store went down was because they meant for it to go down but it was meant because they were I can't even think what I'm saying now uh, they were trying to stop the market crashing on the normal ultimate team so honestly guys even though the World Cup mode is out even though the World Cup is literally what like next week um, I think it starts like next Thursday I think they're going to try and find a way to bring the normal ultimate team market back up the only way i think that's going to happen is with repeatable sbcs um, so i think they'll bring out the ultimate team of the season repeatable sbc now there's going to be an sbc on tuesday whether that's repeatable or not is another thing but i honestly think they need to do something whether it be an icon sbc that's repeatable whether that be a team of the season repeatable sbc so that's kind of my thought process is that if you've got coins if you can afford to buy um the team of seasons that are about 50k at the moment i think it's it's worth an investment don't go mental buy two or three um make sure you've got enough for yourself as well because obviously uh you'll want to to do the spcs yourself like what's the point of fifa without a bit of fun um i'm just going to quickly check to see what the cheapest uh team of seasons are at the moment I've kind of put it wrong on Footbin. Make sure you check out Footbin as well, guys. It really does help with regards to uh, keeping an eye on the market. So the cheapest SB, uh, not SBC, the cheapest uh, team of the season I could find is Hurtado. Um, is that him? Nope. 
Uh, that's him there. Okay, so he's going for under 50k. He's 91 rated. Now, the ones that are going to go up in price are the ones that are in a major league because they're easier to link up with regards to the SBC. Ah, uh, he's going for about 50k as well. well there, you go. there you go, guys. Like, So I recommend the ones to invest in, if you're going to invest, is... For fuck's sake. Is Kimpembe. There you go, is one for 49k. It's been on for 13 minutes. Kimpembe is a really good one. Um, Quagliera uh, of the Serie A. Uh, there he is there. It doesn't help, he's got normal informs. Alright, it's not more. Team of the season is not there. Okay, maybe he's gone up in price. Okay, maybe not quite clear. Uh, where is another one? You got Falcao. Now, like Falcao and Kimpembe, I think are are good shouts. There you go. Because Falcao is still in. Well, both Kimpembe and Falcao are both in the same league for one. They're both uh, currently in packs as well. Um, I think these are really good, really good shouts. It's like 51k there. So Falcao is about 51k, Kimpembe is like 49, 50k. So that's 100k. Like, go in based on the way that the team of seasons have gone at the moment. You've, you've got to see that they've gone from about 25k to 50k because there's not enough of them and there's a, uh, there's a massive demand. The ma demand is just going to keep going up, especially for the, the big league ones. Uh, Lecomte as well, Rami, um, you got like Kemp Prince, Boateng, Steven De Vrij, like you want to be looking at those leagues, like the ones in the major leagues. Uh, personally, I think by the by Friday at 6 p.m., these guys could potentially go up to about maybe 100k. Um, I think realistically, they're going to go up to at least about 70k. Um, and if the tradable ones come in as well, like the sky's the limit because if the tradable ones come in you're going to have to have two team of the season cards and you're just going to get one team of the season player so you're going to have to buy a team of the season player every single time to do it repeatable so it's just going to bring the price up i think that that's the only way that ea can bring the market up a little bit is to keep doing these team of the season SBCs. um i think maybe gold cards will stay down but they will eventually re like reboost maybe uh, maybe from doing different SBCs or something but I think realistically uh, it would be the same as what they're doing now 83 rated it might even bump it up to 84 rated um, and these team of season cards are just going to be are just going to skyrocket that's all I can see uh, so if this uh, video has helped you out and obviously if the last video helped you out with regards to me saying to invest in someone like Allison, please smash a like, uh, comment as well, let me know what you got in your ultimate team this season pack. I got Hummels and Falco, nothing exciting, um, but I'm looking forward to the one tomorrow, there's obviously going to be marquee matchups tomorrow as well, I don't really look too much into marquee matchups, um, I don't really care, like at the end of the day, the worst case scenario is that I buy a player for like a thousand, two thousand coins. Um, Usually the players are most expensive are silver players and um, you know you can easily just do bronze pack method and do the silver upgrade to get those players anyway so it, it really doesn't bother me to look too far into marquee matchups. But yeah guys, um, I'm quite happy doing trading videos, um, I don't mind doing trading videos with the market crash at the moment it's a bit dead. But I am thinking of forward now into FIFA 19, it's not that far away when you really think about it, uh, it's only like 3 months away. Um, it's like this year has gone pretty quick. It's been quite quite interesting. So what I'm thinking of doing is doing a proper uh, road glory for the next one. Try and obviously keep to offline because offline is where I can sort of find my niche, um, and maybe maybe do more trading because I'm I'm not too bad at trading. Like I kind of made most of my money on this account from trading, um, and obviously like Scott Biles we're getting like top 100. So yeah guys, if you're excited about possibly a uh, proper proper Road to Glory FIFA 19 right from the start, also drop a like. Uh, make sure you sub to the channel as well. I do try and do FIFA content every single day. Sometimes I miss one or two days, but there's, there's always some kind of video on the channel. If you like H1Z1 as well, I love H1Z1. Uh, they will be, that will be getting better at one point because they said they will be bringing in ranked play. They were bringing in other things as well. So H1Z1 is going to be one that I'm going to be grinding out as well. So yeah guys, I'll see you in another video. But other than that, take care and see you tomorrow. Bye bye.